Hi everyone, it's Julie the Paper Bag Lady One again, and I would like to show you a mini that I made. I have been making um, minis for some custom orders recently, and while I'm very grateful to be able to do custom orders, they always aren't, or they always aren't the most exciting, simply because I don't always have free reign to do what I want. Um, but I got an order to do an album for uh, an end-of-the-year teacher gift for somebody, and the woman who ordered it just asked um, that it be kind of like a general theme so the teacher could do what she wanted, and she wanted it to be kind of a shabby chic look. And so I looked through all my papers, and I didn't really think I had anything that was totally shabby chic. And so I went shopping, and I'm not convinced this is completely shabby chic, but this is probably about as shabby chic as I'm going to get. Um, so what I used is this paper here, this Colorbach um, Victorian Parlor paper pad. Um, I normally would not have probably even looked inside it because all those roses kind of, um, whew, throw me off. I'm not, I used to be a florist and roses really aren't my favorite thing. I've seen enough roses to last a lifetime. But in general, I think that most of the pages in here are pretty, even if I didn't end up using them with all the roses. So anyway, um, so I wanted to show this album to you because for some reason, this one really kind of pleased me when I was finished. I really liked this one. Um, so let's take a look. It's a six by six paper bag album. Almost everything I make is a paper bag album. It's very rare that I do something else on chipboard or whatever. So this is it. And, um, on the front, I have used a lot of the old crocheted doilies and linens that I've picked up at various flea markets or yard sales. This little flower here, I believe I made with some lace. These little flowers here, um, I actually got from my friend Kim. She sent them to me, so thank you, Kim. This is a flower made from seam binding. And then the centers, these are some different recollections. No, yes, they are. They're recollections, brads, and then just some pearls. And I honestly couldn't tell you um, where the little flat back sticky pearls came from. I have so many of them, they're just all in a drawer and they're not even in their packaging anymore. So, um, so I'm sorry, it, it could be just about anything. Here I used a little Tim Holtz Dodge ticket on one of the little Tim Holtz. I don't know what it's called, the little holder thingy. That's what we'll call it. And then here I cut out some butterflies from the paper collection. And it was pretty fairly thick, so I actually used some vintage lace to tie it shut. And here we have the inside. Now, I will be going back. I have to add some coffee dyed shipping tags to this. I just haven't coffee dyed them yet. Um, so I'm going to probably end up doing that quick tonight. And I wasn't sure if I'd have time tomorrow to make this video before the lady came to pick it up. So I thought, well, I'll, you can just imagine that there's some nice vintage looking um, dyed tags right there. So um, we have a photo mat that pulls out. Here we have a little butterfly. That's the chipboard piece. It came from Michael's in the little dollar fifty bins. Um, I painted it. First I painted it with something pink and then I went over it with something cream. Isn't that awful? I don't have any. I know I really should be more together and get my things up, but they're just regular craft paints, I think. Um, and then I sanded it a little bit and kind of went over it with a little bit of um, some walnut ink. It's just a generic brand that I use for a lot of edging. Um, we have some more flowers that Kim sent me. These are little Prima flowers here, these green ones. There's another seam binding flower and crocheted. And this little pink one, crocheted flower, I believe that is one that my cousin Sherry made for me. Um, and then here we have a little stick pin. And then I punch that. That's a, I believe it's a EK Success punch along the edge. And then here's the other side. Again, more of the lace and crochet pieces. This little crocheted flower here, not sure how well you can see that. My friend Taya crocheted for me. Thanks, Taya. I have a couple of yours in here. This is some trim I got at my fabric outlet where I get a lot of my trims. And this, the pocket, whenever I have the mat glued down, I always leave it open at the top so there will be a shipping tag that peeks out of there. Here's the second page. This is a flower, just a silk flower that I got from my fabric outlet. Some more crochet pieces. This is a little ticket. Um, that I stamped on some coffee dyed paper and then cut out. And again, I'm sorry, I don't know what the stamp is off the top of my head. If anybody really wants to know, I do have that information, just not in front of me. Um, here's some old eyelet trim, and then I took some seam binding and wove it throughout the trim. 
And on this side, we have a little kind of a label sticker thing, and that came from, I believe it was from a K and Company pack that went along with some pattern paper, There's some some crocheted lace, another one of those flowers. There's another butterfly, and this butterfly actually came from um, Gina, who does a laser cuts at minialbumscraps.ning.com. That's where that little butterfly came from. And again, this one on the side pulls out. Side again, more of the same, the crocheted pieces, the seam binding flower, and a flower from Kim. Another butterfly, chipboard butterfly. Here's two little tickets, and these tickets, whoops, slide out of here. Some vintage lace on this side. Get just more of the same. Some stick pins and some lace tucked underneath the photo mat. There we go. This is some more trim that I got at my fabric outlet. Another Tim Holtz Dodge ticket. More lace and crocheted goodies. And over here, this is some lace. I'm not sure where I got that, probably at one of my thrift stores. Another butterfly with some pearls in the center. Um, that flower there is a kind of a crochet trim that I get at my fabric outlet that I really like a lot. And so I made kind of a, just used a running stitch and made a flower. There's another little flower from Taya that she made for me. And then here we have the last layout. This is, oh, I can't remember. It might be pink paisley. I can't remember for sure. A little roll of tickets. Again, I have to, I'm terrible about that. I threw the packaging out. Sometimes the packaging takes up more room um, to store things in, so I have a tendency to get rid of things. Um, but then more of the crocheted bits and flowers from Kim. And I don't know if you can see this behind here. There's um, a skeleton leaf, a dark blue one, and Allison, you may have seen the video, Allison and I had a junk journal swap, and she had sent me some things along with it, and those blue um, skeleton leaves were in that, so I used them there, and then there's one, you can't really see it again, here behind the flower. That's another one of the pieces from Gina at minialbumscraps.ning.com. Some more crocheted pieces. This is just some old lace, crocheted lace, and then the last photo mat. So I'm not sure if I was really successful at the shabby chic. I tend to think of shabby chic as having a little bit more white and pink, um, but no matter what I try to do with the, the shabby look, I tend to gravitate towards vintage. So I hope that my customer will like this. Um, if not, I imagine I can do something different for her, but I really like it and I'd love to hear what you think about it. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great evening. Bye.